Hey, let me ask you a question real quick. Yeah, go ahead. What's your question? Why wouldn't you like, comment, and subscribe? Yeah, you know what? That is a good question. When I made the yearly wrap up, I just said, um, I say shit that make niggas think. Five niggas told me K Michelle pussy stink. And um, that's what I heard. Damn, bro. So, man, did y'all catch the interview? This shit was fucking crazy. Like, first of all, now, we all know K Michelle is the last person who should be talking about women supposed to stick together. All the dumb shit she done started through the years since. I've seen her, you know, from loving hip-hop to the music industry to being at award shows, all type of shit, right? But if I remember straight, that ain't the first time Uncle Murder said that on a Breakfast Club interview or in an interview, period, right? So I think what Angela Yee was saying, the last time that Uncle Murder was um, on a Breakfast Club, I do believe, she wasn't there. You know what I'm saying? Not defending her, no shit like that. But I need to go back and check the Uncle Murder and Mayno uh, interview. Because I think one of them, she wasn't there when Uncle Murder first said that. Because that ain't the first time saying it. But anyway, so I get where K. Michelle saying that they talked about it earlier. But then at the end of the interview, she want to bring it up. Who gives a fuck, right? Now, it's that old saying that when something ain't true, it doesn't affect you. You don't get mad at it, right? So she basically blew... This shit way out of proportion. You know what I mean? And if you want to be honest, is this really the first time that one one person has said this about K. Michelle? You know what I'm saying? If you have any sense or any brain, we all know from... If you stu study shows that women in their life, at least once, will go through that phase of their shit. Let's say not being so uh, for breeze fresh. You dig? You know what I'm saying? Can't no nigga in his life even say he was from a teenager to getting grown. Like, you ran across a bitch. You may was fit to smash her, but you did the finger test. And you was like, yo, this bitch always smell like some old motherfucking sour grapes or some shit. You feel me? But at the end of the day, it's like she barked on Angela Yee so motherfucking tough. I was like, god damn. Like, Angela Yee tried to stick up for herself. But I feel like Envy and Charlemagne definitely should have said something. You know what I mean? Because it's just like, that's Angela Yee. Like, I mean, yeah, she could be all in your business. And she could say some crazy shit at times. And she be having questions all fucked up. But it's just like, it's like a fucking pit bull trying to, you know, devour a chihuahua. Like, you know what I mean? And it's just like, she sat there like a little kid. You know how you remember in kindergarten or wherever. They'd be like, yo, teacher, take go stay in the corner or some shit like that. Watching that shit, it made me feel like that. And I'm like, damn, I don't even want to finish watching the interview. But that's crazy. And she just was like, I don't fuck with you. Okay, next question. Like, she sunned her ass and just told her ass, sit the fuck in the corner, don't say shit. You know what I mean? But I was like, wow. And then he had a point like, yo, you barked on, um... Uh, what's Lil Wayne X toy or whatever? Like, yeah, this bitch talking about my real life shit. Well, isn't your pussy smelling like you know old uh, San Francisco pier fish? A uh, problem? Like, you know what I mean? So it's just like, yeah, she kind of threw a shot at Uncle Murder, but you see, she didn't say shit about me. No, she was like, oh, forty year old got a mixtape. Yeah, but you know what I mean? So at the end of the day, it's like, ah, I get it, but it's just like, that shit was crazy. I think this shit's blown out of proportion. You know what I mean? If you're a real bitch and you went through a phase in that and niggas did a chatty patty on her. Like, some niggas probably ran across her shit and was like, yo, this is crazy. You know what I'm saying? Because it didn't come from murder. Like, he kept saying murder. Like, yo, I personally didn't fuck her. It came from somebody that I'm, like, close with. You know what I'm saying? Basically, I think Mano probably smashed out of some shit like that. And he was like, yo, this bitch is crazy. Or somebody knew Mano. For whatever the case may be, it don't matter. It's like, why would a nigga lie on you, though? What would they get out of that? Like, if you fucked the bitch and her shit was, like, tart. Why would, you know what I mean? You ain't supposed to just go, like, spread gossip. That's what chicks do. But it's just like, you know, you probably curve her or whatever. And, you know what I mean? If she asked, like, yo, what's going on? It's like, yo, you kind of wasn't right. You know what I mean? So... I don't know what to say, but she barked on this part, Angela Yee, like, God damn. I mean, that is her job to that. You hear something and you ask a question. Media training shows, what do you say? Next question. You know what I mean? But it's just like she instantly, you know what I mean? Charlemagne set up the fucking alley-oop and she dunked that motherfucker. You know what I mean? So it's like she knew exactly when she went there. She knew what the fuck it was. You know what I mean? But I thought that was crazy. What do y'all think about it? Was Angela Yee wrong? Was K. Michelle wrong? K. Michelle, that is. I'm out.